Welcome to Top 10 USA, home of the Rocket Platform. Please follow our replacement procedures and be sure to use appropriate ESD standards and techniques throughout the replacement process. If these procedures are not followed appropriately, damage to your SAN as well as data loss may occur. If your machine is covered under the Rocket Plus subscription and you have any questions or concerns, please open a ticket through the Rocket Platform customer portal. Your first step is to access the group manager of your Dell Equalogic Array. There are two methods to accessing your array. If you already know how to access the Dell Equalogic Group Manager, please skip to 1 minute and 9 seconds. If you are utilizing SAN Headquarters, you will want to launch the SAN Headquarters client. Once SAN Headquarters is loaded, on the left hand side of the page you will see a list of current groups managed by SAN Headquarters. From here you will need to select on a particular group with the current issue. You will right click on the group name and select Launch Group Manager and log in using your login credentials. If you are accessing the Equalogic via a web browser, you will open up your preferred browser and in the address bar, either enter the host name of your SAN or the management IP address. Once you see a login prompt, please enter your login credentials. Now that you are logged into the Equalogic Group Manager, you are going to need to identify the Equalogic array with the issue. On the left hand side of the page, we are going to select on the particular array that currently has an indicator marking. In the center of the screen, you will see a row of tabs across the top of the page. You will need to go to the Maintenance tab of the Dell Equalogic Array. Toward the right-hand side of this tab, you are going to see a section with identification information of the array. Be sure to click Start LEDs Flashing and make note of the service tag of your Dell Equalogic Array. You will need the service tag and the LED indication turned on for any service procedure in order to identify the faulty SAN with ease. If either of these methods do not work or the machine is inaccessible, contact us directly. Prior to replacing the physical failed drive, you must first ensure there is no RAID rebuild currently running. Go back under the Status tab, and toward the top right hand side of this tab, you will see a RAID status. You must make sure the status reads is either OK or degraded. If you see Rebuilding as the status of the array, you will need to wait until the rebuild has completed and the status is changed to OK or degraded. When replacing a single drive in a Dell Ecologic array, you will need to first identify through the group manager which drive is currently failed. For you to identify the failed hard drive, you will go under the Disks tab in the Group Manager. From the Disks tab, you can see that the drive in slot 44 has failed. Using the LED indication you had turned on, locate the array. The array should have every indication light on the machine flashing. Verify that this is the correct array using the service tag from the Group Manager. The service tag of the array should be located on a sticker in the rear of the machine by the controller slots. Once the array has been identified, you will need to turn off the indicator lights. Enter back into the group manager and select the member with the failed drive. Open up the maintenance tab and on the right hand side select the option stop LEDs flashing. Depending on personal preference, you may have left your faceplate attached to cover your array. If the faceplate is attached, take your Dell issued key and turn the lock in a clockwise direction. Next to the lock on the faceplate is a little black tab. Lift up on the black tab and the faceplate locking mechanism will release, allowing you to remove the faceplate. Now from the front of the Equalogic Array, you are able to see that the drive in slot 44 has failed. You can verify this by the LED indication that will be showing on the LED screen. Once you can confirm that this is indeed the drive that will need to be replaced, you will need to confirm that the cabling for the array has enough slack for the enclosure to slide forward. Slide the enclosure forward until you can readily access the faulty drive. Once the failed drive becomes readily accessible, you will need to depress on the tab of the drive, releasing the locking mechanism. Once the mechanism has been released, the arm on the drive tray will begin to swing up. Swing the arm all the way out, using a light amount of force. Once the arm is swung completely open, you should be free to pull the drive straight up out of the slot. Now that the failed drive has been removed, wait approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Then you can proceed with inserting the replacement drive. Prior to inserting the replacement drive, depress on the tab of the front of the tray and swing the arm of the tray completely open. Insert the replacement drive, ensuring it is facing the same direction as the other drives. The drive should seat in 90% of the way before the arm of the tray catches in its slot. Once you have the arm of the tray seated in its slot, close the arm and the drive should seat the rest of the way. Return to the group manager and confirm that the drive is now showing healthy. If the array is back to a healthy status, you are safe to close this call out. If a drive fails to come back online or other issues arise, please contact us directly. Thank you for choosing the Rocket Platform, the evolution of hardware maintenance. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA Video Production Team.
We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.